Hey everyone, welcome back to IYLT, where we dive deep into the lives of your favorite celebrities. Today, we're exploring the fascinating career of the one and only Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right, let's get started. Matthew David McConaughey was born on November 4th, 1969, in Uvalde, Texas. His journey to stardom began with small roles in television commercials in the early 90s. But his big break came in 1993 with the cult classic, Dazed and Confused. As David Wooderson, McConaughey delivered the iconic line, All right, all right, all right, which would become his signature catchphrase. Pretty good, how's it going with you? Say, so, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. After a series of supporting roles, story. McConaughey's career took off when he starred as lawyer Jake Briggins in the legal drama A Time to Kill, 1996. This was followed by leading roles in notable films like Contact, 1997, Amistad, 1997, and the war film U571-2000. In the 2000s, McConaughey became the king of romantic comedies, with hits like The Wedding Planner, 2001, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, 2003, and Failure to Launch, 2006. He established himself as a charming leading man and a Hollywood heartthrob. In 2011, McConaughey took a two-year hiatus and when he returned, he shifted gears to more dramatic roles. This period, known as the McConaissance, saw him delivering powerful performances in films like The Lincoln Lawyer, 2011, Magic Mike, 2012, and Mud, 2012. His portrayal of Ron Woodruff in Dallas Buyers Club, 2013, earned him an Academy Award for Best Actor. McConaughey continued to impress with roles in The Wolf of Wall Street, 2013, can I bring for you on this glorious afternoon? Well, Hector, here's the game plan. You're gonna bring us two absolute martinis. You know how I like them, straight up. And then precisely seven and one half minutes after that, you're gonna bring us two more. Then two more after that, every five minutes until one of us passes the fuck out. <laughs> Excellent strategy, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm good for, with water for now, though. Thank you. It's his first day on Wall Street. Give him time. And the critically acclaimed HBO series True Detective, 2014, where he played Rust Cole. Is that what I'm going for here? I just want you to stop saying odd shit, like you smell a psychosphere or you're in someone's faded memory of a town. Just stop. Uh, given how long it's taken for me to reconcile my nature, I can't figure I'd forgo it on your account, Marty. sleep last night? I don't sleep. I just dream. His performance in Christopher Nolan's epic Interstellar 2014 further solidified his status as a top-tier actor. In recent years, McConaughey has continued to take on diverse roles. He starred in The Gentleman 2019. You can then deal with the next concept of your short-sightedness. As stated, I am not emotional about the money. But I am emotional about the fact that someone laid their hands on my wife. My wife! And lent his voice to animated films like Sing, 2016, and Sing 2, 2021. In 2020, he published his memoir, Greenland which became a bestseller. And in 2023, he voiced Elvis Presley in the Netflix animated series, Agent Elvis. Excitingly, McConaughey is set to join the Yellowstone universe in a new series following the departure of Kevin Costner. From romantic comedies to gripping dramas, Matthew McConaughey has proven himself to be one of Hollywood's most versatile and charismatic actors. What's your favorite McConaughey role? Let us know in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the lives of your favorite stars. Until next time, all right, all right, all right. So to any of us, whatever those things are, whatever it is we look up to, whatever it is we look forward to, and whoever it is we're chasing, to that I say amen. To that I say all right, all right, all right. <laughs> and to that I say just keep living, huh? Thank you.